Chris Narcessian was 16 when he was first diagnosed with Friedrich's ataxia, an inherited progressive neuromuscular disease which affects the spinal cord and balance centers of young adults. One in 100 are carriers of the FA gene. Your muscles don't respond. Like you could think about doing something, you know how to do it, you just can't and it gets really frustrating. It's like, I know how to walk. I know the movements. I just can't do it. <laughs> Finger, wherever it goes, I'm going to move it. Dr. And you're Teresa follow. Zezowitz is the director of the University of South Florida's Research right, Ataxia how Center. About the other side? We started it in 2008. Um, in conjunction with the Friedrichs Ataxia Research Alliance, which is FARA. And we're a translational center, which means that we have clinicians, including pediatricians and um, cardiologists and neurologists, but we also partner with basic scientists. So as we find things in patients clinically, we can go to the translational uh, scientists and talk to them about our findings and vice versa. Uh, so it's bench to bedside and bedside to bench. Some of the first symptoms are that a child or young adult has trouble running or walking. Parents and pediatricians notice that and that's how the disease is usually diagnosed. But what happens over a long period of time is that the patients have weakness. They notice speech difficulties, visual problems, hearing problems, um, and they can't feel their, their feet in space. If you take the toe and take it up and down, they can't feel where their toe is in space, so they lose sensation as well. So it's neurologic as well as speech, hearing, uh, visual, and then cardiac dysfunction. And also one of the problems is that these patients are more predisposed to diabetes, um, which is another issue. Staying active helps patients with FA. I exercise all the time. Um, have a dog. She's really, really strong. And I exercise with her. I play lots of tug of war with her and it keeps me active. Fundraising efforts help advance research for ataxia. The Friedrichs Ataxia Research Alliance will host the fourth FARA Energy Ball in partnership with the USF Ataxia Research Center. A scientific symposium will take place in early September. And September 25th is International Ataxia Awareness Day. We have some great research uh, being presented, um, new medications that work on the mitochondria. And because the heart is so affected in Friedrich's ataxia, we're going to focus on the heart. It's going to be a cardiac-focused symposium with Dr. Mark Payne, who's coming in uh, to talk about some new research uh, concerning the heart and Friedrich's ataxia patients. Um, and it's just going to be great. We have Helen Puccio coming from France, who's going to talk about stem cells and cardiomyopathy uh, for these patients as well. So we're really, really excited about it. Dr. Teresa Zezowitz says ataxia is where Parkinson's disease was 50 years ago, and there are great advancements in research to be made. Those findings uh, that were uh, coming that are coming about in terms of research for Friedrich's ataxia are going to have more broad implications for other more common neurodegenerative diseases such as Parkinson's disease and Huntington's disease and Alzheimer's disease. So the research is not just focused on Friedrich's ataxia, it's going to be broader towards other diseases that are marked by mitochondrial dysfunction. With continued collaboration, doctors, scientists, and patients continue to work towards finding a cure for ataxia. For Spotlight Tampa, this is Carrie Poulos.